Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, starting with the 144,000 men of Israel, which consists of the servants, the prophets, whom have been ordained since the foundations of this earth to sing this new song, which comes in the form of this gospel, which would be preached throughout all four corners of this earth and rest upon the ears of the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children of Israel that may be scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a brief lesson and Lord willing, uh, share a clip uh, with you, Akiyam and Akwaf, uh, from the brother. Uh, his YouTube channel is uh, Hopefully Elect 3. <clears throat> and uh, now he, uh, he made a video going into this. It looked like, you know, by face value, an Edomite woman. You know, completely frustrated and uh, just letting her emotions just spill out. Okay, all over. Uh, I believe it's it may be TikTok. You know where you know on TikTok, <laughs> you can see a plethora. Okay, of people just you know letting their emotions all hang out, man, and you know expressing their feelings towards this place and you know how they're pretty much fed up. You know, so we can see the build up. You know, to that uh, you know civil unrest. You know, that is prophesied in the scriptures to come in these latter days, you know, and those, and those miseries, okay, that are written about, uh, what's that, Baruch 4, you know, going into the miseries that are going to be, uh, that are going to come upon this whore, man. You know, and you Edomites, you know, first and foremost, you know, trickling all the way down to you heathen, the rest of you heathen, you know, and two-thirds of you, Jake, are going to feel that misery as well, you know. And you're not going to be blanketed. Two-thirds of you, Jake, are not going to be blanketed by your power because you choose to join yourselves to the heathen. See, hey, so so be it. You know, so through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, I wanted to share that clip, <clears throat> you know, going into, you know, the build-up to these miseries, okay, that are going to come upon these heathen, first and foremost, starting with Esau, Edom, all right, the so-called white man. Before we grab this clip, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, let's go here first. The Book of Lamentations, chapter 4, in verse 21, and it reads, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. And Uz is a buzzword for the U.S., man. And we know who Edom is. Okay, that would be none other than Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. So here it is. This portion of this precept is telling Esau the what? Rejoice and be glad. You see why? This is why the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. And what cup is this? Uh, those of you out there that may be new to the faith, you know, you may ask. <laughs> hey, the cup of captivity, the cup of slavery. You see, hey, that, that, that cup of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai's vengeance, man. And as a matter of fact, let's go here real quick. Isaiah, it highlights what that cup is going into, man. Isaiah 51, real quick. In verse, uh, verse 22, and it reads, Thus saith the Lord, Salakia. <clears throat> Thus saith thy Lord, the Lord Yahweh, and thy power that pleadeth the cause of his people. And who is the Lord's people? Israel, man. <laughs> Come on now, our so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Behold, I have taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling and the dregs of the cup of my fury 
Thou shalt no more drink it again. See that? So, hey, you know, the transatlantic slave trade? Hey, that was us drinking from the cup of the Lord's fury, man. Okay, us being scattered throughout all four corners of the earth and being subjugated underneath these heathen. Okay, being raped, robbed, and murdered. Hey, that was that cup of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai's fury, man. Where's that cup going now? Soon enough. Isaiah 51 and 23. But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, which have said to thy soul, bow down, that we may go over. And thou hast laid thy body as the ground and as the street to them that went over. Right. And we know, starting with Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, okay, all of these heathen, okay, have afflicted us, man. There's no nation that hasn't had their hands on, on Yasha Allah, man. There's no nation, uh, there's no nation that hasn't done us wrong. You see? This is why all the nation, all you heathen nations are going to pay. Starting with Esau. <laughs> you see, it starts with Esau. You see, but ultimately, these curses are going to rest upon all of you heathen. Because all of you had a space of time where you afflicted us. Matter of fact, let's get this as well before we get this clip. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 30. And uh, I'm going to go straight to the point. In verse 7. Right? And this is after we what? Matter of fact, I'll stop in verse 1. <clears throat> Deuteronomy 30 and 1. And it shall come to pass, when all these things come upon thee, the blessings and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whither the Lord thy power hath driven thee. Right? And the blessings came upon us during the time of Solomon. Right? We had that 40 years of peace. Right? Where we were just <laughs> glorified, man, on top of the world. Right? And now what we're living out those curses, man. The words, the 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 the, the, the words of old, okay, of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai flared up against us, man. Like he said they would, if we were disobedient, if we transgress his ways. You see that? And now we're living in a time where we're calling to mind the wickedness. And iniquities of our forefathers, man, which we are our forefathers. And the elect of the nation of Israel are turning back to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai in spirit and in truth all over the world, man. All over the world. But the Great Awakening started here in Babylon. You see, in New York. Out of one west, man. Starting with Abba Bivens. Our beloved Elder Abba Bivens and the rest of the elders of his time. You see? <laughs> and here we are today. Men, women, and children, whole households turn into righteousness, man. In the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Why? Because we're in a time of deliverance. You see, we're in a time where Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to turn our captivity. You see that? Let's continue on. Deuteronomy 30 and 2. And shall return unto the Lord thy power and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day. Thou and thy children with all thine heart and with all thy soul. That then the Lord Yahweh thy power will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee. And will return and gather thee from all the nations. Whether the Lord Yahweh thy power has scattered thee. And this is happening now. We're being gathered. How? By the word. By the foolishness of preaching. <laughs> okay, that is how our people are being gathered. The elect of the nation. Lord willing, we're part of that precious number. The scripture says many are called, but few are chosen. You know, so the preaching of this word, it, it brings in a lot of, uh, of, of undesirables as well. You see? But those that can be compared to fine gold are going to what? Be able to endure until the end. And that's the Lord's elect. And ultimately they'll be delivered man. You see. Let's continue on. Deuteronomy 30 and 4. If any of thine be driven out unto the outmost parts of heaven. 
From thence will the Lord Yahweh thy power gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. Deuteronomy 30 and 5. And the Lord thy power, Yahweh, will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed, and thou shalt possess it, and he will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. And this is that deliverance and its perfection, man. When we come into the second covenant, <clears throat> okay? And we have those glory, those new bodies, right? And the Lord thy power, Yahweh, will just will circumcise thine heart. See that? And the heart of thy seed to love the Lord, Yahweh, thy power with all thine heart and with all thy soul that thou mayest live, right? Immortality, man. This is what we're going to be transitioned into. See? But prior to that, okay, there's going to be a lot of scourges and calamities Okay, that are going to come to this planet Earth on the, in this eon, in the time of Isa, as the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai transitions power. You see, as he strips Isa, okay, and and and, and, <laughs> and you know he strips power from him, as he's stripping the cup from us, and he's going to hand the cup to him and hand power to us. You see, as we come into that, as we come into the time of Jacob, as it's written. Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. Right? And here's the point. Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the Lord thy power, Yahweh, will put all these curses upon thine enemies. What curses? Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 68. Those curses, man. And the Lord thy power, Yahweh, will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee. Which persecuted thee. And our enemies are written of in Psalms 83. You see all these nations are our enemies man. All these nations have persecuted us man. All these nations hate us man. And it's been displayed through their actions. You see. And them lacking willingness to deliver us from these niggas man. That we've been subjugated under. Because ultimately hey, they're under, they're under him too. <laughs> you know but ultimately hey, they've come up against us man. Okay, more um, 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 <laughs> on many occasions, man. Okay, you got Moab and Elam all throughout uh, where Jake is at. You know, making profit off of them, selling them cigarellos and you know cigarettes and alcohol, man. You see, getting rich off Jake, and that's just the tip of the iceberg, man. See, these curses are coming upon you heathen, man. And guess what? We're seeing the beginning stages of it now. Okay, this is like, again, this is why you have TikTok, okay, with all these Edomites and these other heathens as well, uh, you know, pouring out their, uh, their thoughts, their thoughts of agony, man, all over online. Man, Phil, let's go get this real quick. Okay, let me just pause it real quick. Hey, Kahalan Yamla, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It's 144. Where I'm at right about now. Kahalan Yamla, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Let's start this over. Thank you. 
mirth is gone, man. See that? The mirth is gone. And this is where we are in this day, man. It's going to continue to get worse. Okay, for you Babylonians, man. You see how this, the, these people are snapping out, out of that trance. Okay, out of that, uh, that Babylon, off the, they, they were drunk off that Babylonian wine, but now the people are snapping out of it. All right, nobody's in no jolly time. <laughs> she heard her say she hates Christmas. You see? And that's how the majority of these people feel. They're dreading these holidays now, man. They're snapping out of that trance that Esau had on Monday, which gives credence that him lose. He's slipping. See, that power is slipping. The Lord's taking it. You see? He's taking it, man. Not covering, casting that veil that's been upon the people. It's coming off of him, man. Why? Because, again, there's a transition of power happening, man. There's a transition of power. Where power is being transitioned to Jacob and that cup. Okay, that you nasty niggas think you ain't going to drink. Guess what? Scripture says you will surely drink, man. Let's go here. We'll close out here if the Spirit allows. The book of Jeremiah 49. You will surely drink from that cup, man. There ain't no way around it. But Esau done whack so proud in his mind. He, in his mind, he, he, that's the last thing he's worrying about. Is going into some chains. And they have to lay down some gold roads and build up palaces made of precious stone. That's the last thing Esau's thinking about, man. But guess what? That's going to be your job description in the kingdom to come. Okay? Jeremiah 49 and verse 12, and it reads, For thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, which means look, they whose judgment was not the drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. And who drunk from that cup? Yasha Allah, we just read it in Isaiah 51. You see? But Yahweh Bashim al is going to pass that cup to those that persecuted us and that hate us. Let's continue on. And art thou he that shall all together go unpunished? Question mark, right? Like you think you, 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 you Hansen's disease, suffering, uh, blue eyed, German shepherd smelling bastard. You don't think you're going to have to serve? Because you right. That's is the question here. Okay, now you you clean leper bastard. You no, know, you gonna serve. You got to. There ain't no way around it, man. And all the heathen under you, man. They're all you going into captivity, man. And we're gonna prove that too. Matter of fact, before we close out, we'll close out with Obadiah <clears throat> through the spirit. But all you heathen are gonna have to drink. We gotta make, we gotta establish that point. Thou shalt not go unpunished. See, thou shalt not go unpunished. The scripture says, if there be one stiff neck amongst the people, okay, that, is, that, 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 that go unpunished, it should, it'll, it'll be a marvel, man, if they escape unpunished, man. It'll be a marvel, which means it ain't going to happen. Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. You're going to drink that cup, God damn it. Let's, let's close out right here. Let's go to Obadiah. You're going to drink that cup. And you feeling it now. That's why you see these regular Joe six packs tripping. Hey, and you got uh, these elite tripping too. We just don't see it. They're tripping. They're feeling that pressure. We know they're scared. <laughs> Let's do in the Revelations uh, 11. Wisdom of Solomon 5. Let's continue on. Let's close out right here. Obadiah 1, the only chapter. Let's start at verse 15. And it reads, as a matter of fact, yeah, let me, let me, yeah, let me start at 15. It's verse 16 is the point. But I need I wanted to establish this point right here regarding all you heathen, man. For the day of the Lord Yahweh is near upon. Let's blow this up. Obadiah 1 and 15. For the day of the Lord Yahweh is near upon all the heathen. You see, so there's not one of you that are gonna escape. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. See, with Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, it's an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. See, a life for a life, man. That's the law. See, that's how our power gets down. He's a righteous, just power. And he's long suffering. And that's why you, you heathen think you got away with murder. Nah. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai waited you out lifetimes, man. But now we're finally coming into the eon where you're going to pay. Let's continue on. 
You should be scared. You should be afraid. You should be very afraid, man. It shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head, man. <laughs> you see that? Let's continue. Let's get a little bit more. Let's close that right here. Obadiah 1 and 16. For as ye have drunk. Here we, go, here we go again with that drinking. Right? For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain. So shall all the heathen drink. What? So shall all the heathen drink continually. Yeah. They shall drink. And they shall swallow down. You see? As we read in uh, Jeremiah. You're going to swallow down the dregs, man. The dregs of that cup. And they shall be as though they had not been. Okay? The power that you had, okay, it's going to be as if it was never there. That's how low Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to bring you heathen. All you heathen are going to be brought back to your to your rightful position. You see, Moab's a wash pot. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Elam's going to be making the food. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Esau's out of there. You see, everyone's going to go into their, 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 their rightful lots. You see? Hey, but make no doubt about it. That cup is coming to you heathen, man. Starting with Esau. And we're seeing the beginning of stages of it now, man. We're seeing the beginning stages of it now. That's why we're seeing these uh, <laughs> these heathen starting with these Edomites on TikTok. Uh, letting their emotions leak out. Hey, and it's only going to get worse. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. Hey, Yahweh Shai is on his way. Hold fast, Akiyama Nakwaf. The Savior's coming, man. <laughs> the Lion of Judah, the Lion of Judah, man. Matter of fact, let me close out right here. I gotta get this. We'll close out right here. The book of Joel, chapter 3 and verse 16, it reads, The Lord Yahweh also shall rule out of Zion. And who's coming in the, who's coming in the spirit and power of his father? Yahweh Shai. And utter his voice from Jerusalem, which is what? A people before it's a place. This is talking more so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and speckled birds. They may look like the other nations, but because we've been scattered, okay? But their bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And they've turned back to righteousness. And they serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in spirit and in truth. And the heavens and the earth shall shake because of the missiles. Right? But the Lord Yahweh will be the hope of his people. And the strength of the children of Israel. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Raka Kwedash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwaf were edified. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Kal Halalium La Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Raka Kwedash. Shalom.